Hi everyone, Caroline here. So today I just want to talk about those toxic work environments that we work in or those negative work environments that we work in because they really affect our energy and they can really cause us to be off balance and create all kinds of sicknesses on every level, emotional, mental, and even physical, you know? And I know a lot of people who suffer from so much stress and have such high anxiety and even literally fall sick just at the thought of going into work in those environments and maybe you're one of them I used to be one of them but you know people got to do what they got to do because people have to survive and so I'm not judging anyone because you know for whatever reason sometimes working in those types of environments is the only viable option that we have in terms of getting a job just like this sometimes you just got to stay in that environment until it's time for you to make a jump so I totally understand because even I, for a long time, I used to work in an environment that created so much stress and anxiety in my life. I tell you, I was so stressed working in those environments. I used to feel so physically ill at the thought of just going to that place every morning. My self-esteem was just in the garbage. I hated myself because of how inconsistent I used to feel about myself as opposed to what I wanted to be. You know what I mean? Those just this clash of, oh my gosh, Caroline, how is it that you're allowing people to treat you this way? Why are you allowing yourself to be treated this way? And I still couldn't leave that job, but I hated it so much and I really depended on the income. So it's never sometimes about the income. It's about so many other things because that place was really, really oppressive. I tell you, those were the worst years of my life. It was just like those years of my gosh, Caroline, what is going on? That work environment was the absolute worst. You know what I mean? I mean, the co-workers were nice, but the way the management was and the way the company was run was just so oppressive. There was just no room for growth or expansion or promotions or whatnot. Those people didn't even care. And I allowed myself to remain in that space for a long, long time. It's one of my biggest regrets in life, but still, I'm always so proud that one day I got the guts to really leave that toxic work environment. And you know, the interesting thing is that sometimes you're in a toxic environment, but you're not aware that that it's the environment itself that is causing the toxicity that is occurring in your life. But toxicity in an environment is a sign. So if you're aware, then you can look at that and see what you need to do. You know what I mean? So I've come across a lot of people who are experiencing a lot of things happening in their lives, but it's usually triggered by the negative environment that they keep placing themselves in day in and day out, year after year, you know, for whatever, for the paycheck, which is good, you know what I mean? Because we need the paycheck check but still the adverse effect on their own emotions on their minds on their physical health on their relationships is too big to ignore and this is the reason why i'm making this video just to give you a few tips on how to notice whether you really are in a negative work environment and this can also apply to your living environment you know what i mean because toxicity in environments always manifests in the same way no matter where you're at but the focus here is mainly basically on the work environments because a lot of people are in some toxic work environments and they try to work with tools or whatnot and etc to try to balance these things out and as a matter of fact i'm going to make a video on the different types of crystals that people can use in those types of environments and they're all different and i'm going to tell you why in that video and you'll see why because it's not always about using black tourmaline it's not always about using obsidian to keep things away and i'll go in depth on that topic which i'm really looking forward to share with you because a lot of people have asked me or keep asking in the comment section about crystals to use in the workplace so it's just not a blanket thing or just a set of crystals that work for every specific work issue. There's a lot of things to be considered when working with crystals in the workplace. Okay. Anyway, to get back to this topic of working in toxic work environments, let me just be clear. I know that there are so many other people who work in amazing environments and everything is all good and it really is a blessing. But for the sake of those who work in toxic work environments or who work in a place where they work culture is just like so bad and there's so much prejudice and there's so much bullying that goes on in that workplace. Yes, it happens. People really get bullied at work or just overall poor treatment at work. 
These five things I'm going to share with you are going to help you clearly see whether you're working in a toxic environment or not, so you can consider what to do next, okay? All right, so the first thing is that toxic work environments or negative environments usually have a quality of distraction. And even though you're making money, which is kind of giving you life, they have a way of crushing you. They have a way of killing your dreams, your creativity, your motivation, your desire to quote, quote, live or feel inspired to go to work every day, to wake up every day. They have a way of diminishing your life force, your ambition. You just kind of feel dead. Every time you want to go to work, you're just like, oh my gosh. You know, I remember that so well for myself because I used to be in that situation. I used to feel so dead driving to work every day day just feeling numb and just like oh my gosh I can't believe it's morning what time is evening gonna come so I can leave this place in my mind I'll just be having these conversations with people at work with my boss you know just having this conversations of how I was going to react if something happened, what I was going to do. It was just constant like barrage of negativity coming from me against other people and against myself also. It was just such a crazy, crazy experience. And of course you can say, yeah, why would you not leave? I couldn't leave at that point because I just didn't think that there was an existence outside of that place. You know, sometimes you can be so bogged down with the things that are happening in your life that you can't even see the way forward. I could not see the way forward. I could not imagine just leaving that place or just going to look for another job. I was just too tired. I was too worn out. I was just too exhausted. So I was in that environment and it really affected who I was as a person. So what I want to say is that your work environment or your personal situation may not be as bad as mine was, but just be aware that one of the qualities of a negative or toxic work environment or even living environment is that it has that quality of death or destruction that kind of kills the being or the person that you are. All right, the second point is this. A negative or toxic work environment can cause disease. You feel out of ease. There's a state of unease in your life. It can be physical, emotional, mental, or whatever. But you will notice that something is wrong with your body. You may notice that you're experiencing things like anxiety or heart palpitations or panic attacks or even diarrhea. You know what I mean? Your stomach starts like just, ooh, you know, <laughs> when you're at work or at the thought of going to work or when an authority figure in the workplace calls you or you see like a meeting going on or something going on you start like you know thinking you're delusional or great fear comes upon you or whatnot you know what I mean because you think like you know something's about to go down your throat chakra becomes blocked you can't express yourself well at work your creativity diminishes you start making a lot of mistakes at work you're always in trouble you're always being called in for whatever reason you know what I mean things just start going off and sometimes you also can't sleep at night you get these migraines you're sweating profusely you start trembling you know what i mean your hands are always like this you know what i mean it's a crazy kind of experience and because of all these things that are going on at work which maybe you can't address or there's no way to address at work your sense of self-esteem really goes down and you really feel bad about yourself and it's also true that these things i'm talking about may not all be caused because of your negative work environment there could be other things that cause these kinds of symptoms but what i'm talking about are those things that some people usually experience when they're in an environment that is not good for them. And sometimes these things that go on have nothing to do with someone's personal experience in terms of that job that they're doing. They could be great workers, they could be making good money, but because of the work environment and the culture there, a lot of these things manifest in our bodies and people are out of ease through no fault of their own. It's the environment, baby. It's the environment. Okay, the other way to tell if you're working in a toxic work environment is to notice in yourself whether you're feeling weaker and weaker energetically as a result of being in that space. Toxic environments weaken your energy, they weaken your confidence, they weaken your willpower, they weaken your resolve, they weaken your personal power, they shut down your solar plexus. And this means that your personal power to do things or to take charge or to thrive diminishes. Your sense of self-worth or self-esteem or even how you see yourself go down because of how you feel when you're at work. Because for me, I remember how those feelings really affected me and thankfully I used 
that energy to get out of those jobs. But then it's interesting because even after I left the first job that really, really put me through a lot, I ended up after swearing never ever to work in corporate America. I ended up taking up another job and I still cannot believe for the life of me how much bullying I encountered in this new workplace. And at that time, I had already started doing a lot of work on myself. I was really engaged in a lot of spiritual work and, you know, doing all kinds of things to really bring myself into balance. And so when I went to the new workplace, I thought that, you know, maybe things were going to be good. But I was so shocked at how much bullying was happening in the workplace. I was shocked at the degree of this undercover bullying. Man, I felt like garbage in that place. I felt like garbage. And even though I loved that job so much and it was my dream job, it literally became a nightmare because of that toxic work environment. So just be aware that a toxic work environment weakens your energy. So the other thing is that Toxic work environments can create accidents. You may have seen in the news where some toxic things happening in some workplaces ended up causing some physical accidents that hurt a lot of people. There are quite a few stories like that in the news. Anyway, energetically speaking, if we keep on keeping on working in some of these toxic environments, we might experience some accidents occurring in our life on some level. And the thing is this, for those of us who are aware, when things that we consider to be accidents happen in our lives. If we have a level of awareness, we can read the writing on the wall or see that as a message to ourselves that it is time to move on or to take some type of action that will bring us back into balance. You know, everything speaks and sometimes what happens is unfortunate and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. But on the other hand, some of these things happen and really cause us to triumph and move beyond something that was keeping us stuck in a very, very bad situation. So that's why I think it's very important to pay attention to what's going on with us on every level, whether we're working with spiritual tools or whether we are in a work environment, because everything matters and everything speaks to us. I remember a time when I had a car accident and it was just basically me driving off from work, really angry because of how the day had gone. And as usual, at that time when the accident happened to me, I just couldn't believe that it had happened to me. But those were signs that I needed to move on. And thank God I did. And surprise, the final one is if a work environment or living environment makes you feel bad, if it's a negative environment and it makes you feel terrible, then it is toxic. Simple, right? So, do you work in a toxic work environment and how do you know that it is toxic? Let me know in the comment section, okay? I love you guys. Stay clear of toxic work environments. Until next time.